Hey, Rich Ferguson here, your favorite trickster, and it's that time of year where you get to prank your dad. It's Father's Day, so sit back and relax as I teach you 10 of my favorite pranks you can pull on your dad, and make sure you share this video with any of your friends that has a dad. That's it, let's do this. This first prank is my newest invention. This is the toilet paper bomb. Here's what you do. You roll some toilet paper out on a surface a couple feet so that you have access to this right here. What you're gonna do is pour on some glitter or confetti along this trail right here. Don't be shy. And then simply roll this back up, capturing that inside. And the reason you have all this extra is because now this is hidden inside the toilet paper. Now put this back on the toilet paper rack with the paper on the inside against the wall so when they unroll it, it's gonna create a trench right here and it's gonna roll the confetti right onto their lap. Nine more awesome pranks to go. Well, it is Father's Day and you can't have Father's Day without babies. So here's an epic pregnancy test prank. What you do is you get a cheap pregnancy test. I got this one from the dollar store. And on the back, it says if there's two red lines, you're pregnant. So of course, what I did is I took a red fine tip pen and I made two red lines to make this look like it was a positive test. And then it's up to you to do something with this. Leave it on the bathroom counter, have a suspicious text come in, do something to get your parents' attention, and then prank them. Pranks, pranks magic, magic, hacks. This is such a funny idea. What you do is you sneak into your dad's closet, grab something he already owns, like a watch or a nice tie, and what you're gonna do is re-gift it and see if he even notices. Well, obviously books are a common gift idea for fathers on Father's Day, so here's a few fun ideas for you. First of all, here's a book called What I Know About Being a Dad. Well, the book is blank, implying that he knows nothing about being a dad. You can check these out at blankgagbooks.com or check the link in the description in my merch store. Another book idea is to make your own book jacket. I made this one, YouTube for Dummies. And what you do is you stick this around a book that you bought your dad, and this is just a joke. You can make this anything you want, easy to make. Another book idea is you get a new book but you go through his existing books and you take off a jacket of a book he already owns and stick it on the new book and see if he even notices. Seriously, share this video, damn it. Here's some fun drinking pranks to pull on your dad. Swap out coffee for a different coffee or cocoa for coffee, see if he even notices. Swap out his beer for some fruit drink that has the same color. Or if he drinks any kind of soda like Pepsi or Coke, mix 7-Up or Sprite with soy sauce. It looks like the same thing but dang it does not taste the same. <laughs> oh, it tastes horrible. Ugh. And make sure you mix it or pour it back into a two liter Coke container so when they pour it out, it fizzes and looks just like Coke. While you're here, make sure you're a subscriber. So maybe you wanna send a subtle message to your dad on Father's Day to start eating better. So here's what you do. Get a box for donuts, but don't get donuts, and fill it with veggies. Just imagine the look on his face when he's like, mmm, some donuts. Ugh. Turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. Here's a simple and cute idea to prank your dad. Fill up some balloons. <laughs> Only 100 balloons to go. This is so much easier. And the night before Father's Day, fill his entire car with balloons so when he goes to work, he's got a funny surprise. Pranks, pranks magic, magic, hacks. This is such an easy prank you could do anytime. Hide his cell phone in a box of cereal, under the table, and then call it or text it often and watch him go crazy trying to find his phone. Be sure to check our store out for awesome merch. This one might take a little bit of planning and help from those in your house. What you're gonna do is set his alarm clock ahead an hour and then set the other clocks in the house as well. So he's gonna wake up an hour early for work and once he's ready to go to work, you all stop him and say, surprise, you have an hour to hang out with us. You're still here, so you obviously like this video, so smash that like button. I love harmless booby trap pranks. This is another good one. What you're gonna do is get a box of something in the cupboard that you know your dad's gonna eat or something you're gonna tell him to go get. And what you're gonna do is either cut a large hole or fold all of the flaps inside like that. Nothing else is inside the box except you're gonna load it with confetti, a cup of water, or even a water balloon, and then put it back on the shelf so when he lifts it off, this falls out. Oh, we're not done. 
there's even more. This is a fantastic way to mess with your dad's head. What you're gonna do is leave your phone out in plain sight where he's gonna see it on the counter, by the toaster, whatever, and you're gonna have your friend or someone else in the house text the phone some message like the drugs are by the front door by the plant or the nude photo of you is getting passed around on social media like crazy. Just have somebody text you anything that you know is gonna make your dad flip out. The best part is if you have a message that says something like, hey, the drugs are by the front door by the plant, leave a package there on purpose for your dad to go get. And inside of it, it says, dad, you've been pranked. Happy Father's Day. All right, you know I can't do a video without doing a giveaway, but first, help me out. Show me some love for Father's Day. Just smash that like button like mad and share this with your friends. That would be epic. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. What I'm gonna do is give away one of these blank gag books. I have this one here. It's what I know about being a dad, and it's blank, which the joke means you know nothing about being a dad. But I have a whole variety of these. You can pick which one. What I'll do is I'll go in the comments, I'll pick one of you, and you can tell me which book you want. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for the love and support. And if you want one of these really cool prank shirts, check out my store down below. That's it. Catch you next week. Peace.